Well, welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Today, we're going to review a measuring device that I have. It's a fluke. And, uh, well, it's not a fluke. <laughs> it's, a, it's a real fluke. Guys, this is it right here. And I don't know if any of you have this, but it's a terrific product. This is the Fluke 414D. I've had this for many years, and I don't really know if my audience actually uses one of these. I'd like to hear in the comments whether any of you use these uh, digital measuring devices, but it uses a laser, and this one here, it's good for 50 meters or 165 feet, and this tolerance is quite fine, like two to three mil, or I think it is, uh, like, guys, two to three mil is pretty good. And so it will measure as low as one millimeter uh, in tolerance up to one sixteenth. So when you're looking at this, it'll give you in meters or in feet, inches down to one sixteenth or a millimeter. And I thought that's pretty good. And of course it measures area and it measures volume as well. So I'm gonna demonstrate this for you today. But what I'd like to really mention is, does it replace your tape measure? And I'm saying no, it doesn't. But it sure is a help in a lot of situations where, take for instance, you've got, you want to make a measurement, say at uh, chest height. And you want to go from here to the other side of the wall. Well, guess what your tape measure does? Yeah, the longer you go, the more arc you have, and it's not a straight line, and it is not accurate. Now, it depends on how accurate you have to be. Usually, you have to have somebody at the other end hold it, don't you? Well, this one here, push it against your item, press the button, zoom. It'll tell you right to within a couple of mil exactly how far you are away. There's no deviation in arc, and it's just terrific. I've been using this for a long time now, and I like it better in a lot of instances, especially when you have to make a measurement between two spots where the tape measure doesn't do a good job at that. You have to actually, you know, have somebody hold the other end, or you have to actually just eyeball it, and that kind of stuff. This is very simple, very fast, and I think very accurate. So let's take a look at a couple of measurements here and uh, I'll demonstrate to you why I like using this. And of course, it does not replace the tape measure, but uh, if you're getting paid by the hour and you're doing something, this here can save you an enormous amount of time. So let's get to it right here. Okay, so there we are right there. You can see the laser pointer it's got the beam on the cabinet, and I have my Milwaukee uh, measuring tape there. It's got a magnetic end on it. I'll give you a little closer look there. And that's the uh, tape measure I prefer. And we'll bring it right back here. And, yeah, this is kind of boring, but... So let's just take a look here. And what do you guys see there? To me, it looks like... 92 and a half inches and if we take a look here that's seven foot seven foot eight and a half so let's take a look and see what this measures seven foot eight and a half and it's just got pressed right against here and that's how easy it is and guys it is dead on accurate. Now I've got this tape measure only at that distance, but can you imagine if you had that set out 30 feet? Well, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be able to, uh, to measure that accurate. Well, I hope you like that. It's, uh, it, it's a terrific item. And uh, guys, I measure stuff all the time with this. I find this just, you know, like for me, I don't pick up the tape measure the first thing I go to. I go to this. I mean, I can just point this at the other end of the garage there, and uh, you know, depending on what I'm pointing at, here I got it pointed at some styrofoam on my garage door. There it is there. 
let's just say I want to want to know what the distance is to there just point at it I mean guys <laughs> this is so simple uh, I don't know what to say here you know like anything I point at I'm getting you know a really nice accurate measurement and a lot of times a tape measure like I said before longer you got this thing the less accurate because it starts to bend on you and all that kind of stuff so I prefer the digital tape measure I find it more accurate and so easy especially if I'm going along and I want to measure baseboards I just go from one end press a button go to the other end of the room press it. I can go all the way around so fast on all of it and for me why bother fooling around with the tape measure when this is so easy so small I don't need to have anybody at their end to hold it there's no guesstimating so this is a product I like, it's a product I use, and it's a product that I bought for myself. And guys, it's, it, it's something that maybe a lot of people, I don't know, maybe they don't like some technology or maybe they don't trust it or I don't know what it is, but I do not see a lot of people on YouTube using this in their daily builds. I mean, a lot of times, when you want to get something really accurate, this is the way to go. But how accurate do you have to be a lot of times? Especially if you're doing uh, framing and this kind of stuff, you don't have to be dead on that accurate. But the only thing, the advantage of this is, it is so fast. You just put this in your pouch, you know, and it's just a matter of pushing a couple of buttons and man, you've got measurements like real fast. So thanks for joining me here today. If you've ever seen this channel before, you're welcome to subscribe. And uh, don't be afraid of a little bit of technology. Cheers, guys.